You know, Rick and Morty fans always said how long they had to wait. About two and a half years for season three. And then you had Samurai Jack fans who always said they had to wait ten years for their final season. Hey, Arnold fans, on the other hand, was were all like, Listen here, you little shits. I'll tell you something about waiting. And tonight, we got our freaking wish! Oh my fucking god! This movie owes everything I wanted and more! Oh, man. I have not been this excited to watch an animated film in a long time. Like... <laughs> Like, I've always enjoyed animation and animated films, but I've never been more excited for this. I've been hyped for this since its official announcement a couple years back. And to see it was awesome. Now, before I go any further, a couple things. One, I was not able to find the artist for this fan art picture, which I hate when I can't find them, because I always want to give credit to them. Um, if anyone knows who did this artwork pick, please let me know in the comments below if you are aware of who they are. Also... I'm going to be spoiling stuff, so if you do not want to be spoiled, here's your chance to back out now. Um, yeah, so I'll give you guys a couple I'll give you guys a couple seconds to back out, and then I'll be going into the review, which includes spoilers, because I don't think I could talk about this without spoilers. Okay, so I'm guessing if you're still here, you either want to be spoiled or you saw the movie and want to, you know, gush about it as much as I do. So first off, um, was I the only one who thought that this felt a lot like Far Cry 3? No, I'm serious. I can't be the only one who said, who thought like, man, I'm like half expecting Voss or Hoyt Vulker to show up in, at any point in this movie. Because it totally felt like Far Cry. I mean, with the ancient civilization. I mean, we're just, you know, the, uh, the pirates. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I totally felt like I, it was like a kid version of Far Cry. And admit it, if there was a DLC pack for Far Cry where you could play as Hey Arnold, uh, I think we would all collectively, you know, give our right lungs for that uh, for it. <laughs> oh man! So if you don't know the story, the story this is the movie that Craig Barlett, the creator of Hey Arnold, always wanted to do, and now that he's finally been able to do it, um, it's really damn good. <laughs> And the story is, is that Arnold, this is the, this is Arnold going to San Lorenzo with his friends and the rest of his class and going there to basically, you know, as a school trip, but really Arnold's there to find his parents. And along the way, they discover what happened to the green eyed pe people and his parents on a whole. Um, yeah, this, uh, this was worth, totally worth the wait. The long, long 14, 15, you know, 15 year wait. <laughs> Um, oh my god, I am just, where do I even begin? So, um, everything about this didn't, it didn't just feel like a nostalgia trip. Although, granted, when they were doing the whole movie for San Lorenzo, um, they, uh, it did feel a bit like a nostalgia trip, and I was totally fine with it, because it wasn't like, oh, it's in your face. But it was really cool, and I can't be the only one who choked up a bit saying Pigeon Man. You can't lie to me. You, everyone got collectively, went, <laughs> Pigeon Man. Yep, right on. I'm gonna go cry in the corner real quick. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I really enjoyed this. This felt like it. nothing la nothing changed. Like, although granted the voice, some of the voice actors for, for, of course, Arnold and Gerald, they were changed and a few other of the characters had their voice actors and actresses changed. I got used to it pretty quick. Just really quick. I um, took me a minute to like gauge with them, but that's always been Craig Barlett's thing, where he always has like he re usually wants child actors to voice his characters. Um, usually, and that's usually been the case for um, Arnold and Gerald, uh, especially. And that really plays on to the vision he had for this. Um, also, quick side note: I can't. I didn't realize this until like a few months ago. I didn't realize that Olivia, uh, that, uh, Olivia Hack, the voice actress for Rhonda, also voiced Ty Lee in Avatar The Last Airbender. I didn't realize that until like a few months ago. I was literally like, wait, that's the same person? The fuck? How did I not catch on to that? <laughs> anyway, so it was really fun to see all these uh, characters back, to, uh, back again. 
And although, granted, they don't really do much, the main focus here is Arnold, Ger Arnold, Gerald, and Helga, who are on the search for the green-eyed people, while the rest of the kids are just there for backup. And it is cool to see them all, but they just kind of, like, they forget about them halfway through. They, they forget about them, but I, I'm forgiving that, because I'm forgiving of that, because, yeah, this is meant to be Arnold's story. This is Arnold's whole big story. Um, so I'm willing to forgive that we totally had this huge cast, and then we just cut the, shove them off the board for, to focus on three. I'm totally at peace with that, because this is the story, this is Arnold's story and him finding his parents. This isn't Curly's story, right? <laughs> Um, also, it's nice to know that God still hates Eugene. It's always that's always a you know a plus right there to see that you know God really despises the uh, Eugene. Um, just always a kudos there. Um, what else was there? But let's talk about the Sombra real quick. Let, um, now, just pro tip in animation: when Alfred Molina voices your character, he's a villain. Like ninety percent of the time, Alfred Molina will voice a villain in animation. I'm just saying. Like, we had that with Rippin, we have that from Pen Zero Part-Time Hero, and we have it here again. Because the moment I heard Alpha Molina when he was quote-unquote Eduardo, I was like, oh, he's a villain, okay. That's that's just that's just animation 101. Alpha Molina voice villain, uh, voices a character, it's a villain. Just no matter what. <laughs> and he's actually a really fun villain. I really dig La Sombra, because he's really much like... He's a lot like, like I said earlier, of he's a lot like a Far Cry, a villain you would see in Far Cry, or um, actually, like a little closer would be McLeish from Rescuers Down Under. You guys remember McLeish, the villain from the Austri the uh, villain from that movie who was voiced by George C. Scott. He reminded me a lot of that, but with, instead of poaching animals, he's he's a treasure thief. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So, but again, like again, going to the parallels with Far Cry, I was like. Man, like, I could almost feel Volk uh, Hoyt Volker or, or Voss showing up at any given time. Um, and that's the same thing when they, when, um, they went to the Green-Eyed People. And I was like, is Citra going to show up at any moment? Like, I can feel that. <laughs> anyway. So, our, we also get more about Arnold's journal and the little, um, the key that um, he's given. And in here, we discover all these little points, you know, that it's like a, it's like a journal that's very much like the Gravity Falls journal, where it has little messages inside the messages. And I was like, that's really cool. I have this weird feeling, though, that Craig Barlett, you know, traded notes with Alex Hirsch. Just saying. Like, not as, like, I'm not saying he copied off of him, but I feel like they must have exchanged notes, either, um, you know, with the whole journal inside the journal, you know, the whole secret messages within the journal thing. Just got that weird feeling. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it was really cool to see that, you know, this show feels like something in the 90s because they pull no punches. There are multiple times where people die. Like, on, like Lissandra has an on-screen death right in front of everybody. And I went, holy crap, they showed that. Way to go, Nick! <laughs> um, yeah. You know, way to go on that one. People get stabbed. People get crushed. I mean, they don't show a lot of blood, but you know people have died. You know people die, is all I'm saying. Like, you know that person is dead. <laughs> just just saying. Um, and we also discover the green eye people and the sleeping sickness and what happened there. I thought that was really interesting because there was there was one point where, Ed, where the real Eduardo, he's like, they'll take you to where your parents lie. And I was like, Oh no, <laughs> that's a kick in the balls. But at the same time, while it, it would have been depressing to find out they died after all this time, that would have been in line with the show. Like that would have made a lot of that. Like at one point, I was like, I really don't want them to be dead. But on the other hand, if they are, I'm not gonna be mad about it because that would be something from the show. I was saying that like they died, you know, keeping everyone safe. I would have been told, you know, I would have been fine with that because. I wouldn't put it past them this, against this show to be like, yeah, you're, yeah, Arnold, your parents are dead after all this time, but they died doing all of this so you could finish their work. And I was like, yeah. Um, but no, that didn't happen. And also, uh, I think we all collectively freaked out when Arnold and Helga kissed, like not fan art or fan fiction, like legit kissed, and I think, and not like school play kiss either. Like, wow. I think we all collectively, like, and the ship is good! <laughs> yeah.
Yep. Yep. Uh, it's nice to see also um, Phoebe and Gerald finally be an official couple. Um, it was nice to see Olga, even though she didn't do a lot. Uh, just a lot of fun here and there. This is such a, like, a great adventure sh movie, and, uh, you know, Craig Barlett, everyone else on behalf of the entire fandom, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for finally bringing us this after all this time. Something we waited for for so long, and we finally got it, and it's beautiful. It's not watered down. There are some modern-day jokes, but it's, like, it's real, like, qu quick and you miss it. And the only one who it makes sense to have, like, the iPhone and all that and all, it is Rhonda, because obviously she's rich, and, duh. There's a, I love the, the, the beeper joke. Um, that was hilarious, because, yeah, it makes sense that, you know, he's obsolete at this point in time. You know, Bob's beepers are... You know, I was almost, I was this actually, oh my god, I was this close to saying Bob's Burgers. <laughs> totally different show, Zilla, totally different show. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was awesome, and the character development between Arnold and Helga is great. Um, just seeing them finally be a, a, an official thing was awesome, and, oh uh, man, what else was there? Just some great action in here. Like, again, like I said earlier, they got away with some stuff. They really, I felt like they really did get away with a lot and managed to do a lot in here. Um, so, yeah, bring on the new show. Because if this does well in the ratings, which I'm really hoping it did, then we'll get a Hey Arnold TV show centered around them in the sixth grade, which I totally want. Yeah, I don't think any of, I don't think any one of us would be like, no, we don't want, no, we totally want that. We totally want that to be a thing, and if you, and, yeah. So, I think it's safe to say, with all the good reception that's been going on, I think that's, it's a safe assumption that's going to happen. But, yeah. Nickelodeon, don't screw this up, seriously. You, you've got a hot potato back in your hands again. Do something with it. You're, wor you're winning with Loud House. You know, you can't depend on the sponge. Look at, uh, look at Teen Titans Go. Just saying. You know, don't be Teen Titans Go. But anyway, comment below, let me know what did you guys think of this review and the movie on a whole. Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Um, yeah, really interested to see what you guys have to say about this, because I'm pretty, like I said, I can't be the only one who watched this movie and went, oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so freaking beautiful. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I mean, there was some fun stuff, um, just so much great stuff. The like I said, the only flaw I really had, and that's and it's totally passable as a flaw is again, you know, you had this big cast, and you, and we didn't really do anything but a, a few sight gags. It was more focused, but it's totally fine because again, this is Hey Arnold, you know, this is Hey Arnold, not Hey Giant Cast, um, and this is Arnold trying to find his parents. So I think I can forgive it for you know excluding everyone there. Um. <coughs> Yeah, so totally at peace with that. Um, but again, like it just kind of like it just kind of bugged me that you had you know, um, you know, you had Grandma and Grandpa, and you had um, Bob and Miriam just parachute out of, out of the ground, off the you know, out of an, a rent me airplane, and just come in for the rescue, and then that, that's the last you see of them. But again, it's totally passable. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Hey Arnold, The Jungle Movie? Did you guys like it? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Hope you, but yeah, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.